Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, good Hello, evening. Teacher. How's it going, folks? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Mm -hmm. Fine. Oh my God, I like Fine. that energy. Wow. <laughs> so enthusiastic. I love that enthusiasm. Good yeah, evening, thanks. everyone. I am teacher Kalev. I'm sorry for the delay, but it's raining everywhere in El Salvador. It's raining cats and dogs. <laughs> so the internet connection is very um, deficient. Okay, sorry about that. All right, welcome everyone. Let's start. How are you? How are you, Susana? Hi. I, I am tired. You're tired? <laughs> yes. What happened? You had a difficult day in your company. Mm, uh, a lot of work. There's a lot of work. I know. I know. And right now you have two hours of English classes uh, with teacher Kalev. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. OMG. How are you? Welcome. Welcome. How are you? Everyone, activate your camera. Let me see you. Let me see you. Are you practicing your English every day or no? Yes. Yes, yes. you are? I practice. Yes, yes, I am. All right, that's good. That's good. Yesterday we had a full practice about making questions, be questions, and do and does questions. All right, so I hope you're practicing that. Okay, I hope okay. you're practicing that. Today okay. we're going okay. to have a, a little different activity to do. Okay, I'm going to share with you a link i want you to check on the whatsapp i'm um, no 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 not on the whatsapp here here in this chat i'm going to chat you i'm going to chat you a link okay mm -hmm. There you go. Okay, so go ahead and click on that link, tap on that link, and you will be taken to an exercise. Yes? Yes. Okay. I wish you come. Yes, we have some activities right there. I want you to repeat with me. Repeat, go to the gym. Everybody, go. To go. the gym. Go. Go, go to the gym. 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 Go to the gym. To the gym. Meet my friend Bill. Meet, Meet my friend Bill. My friend. Meet my friend. My friend. My friend Bill. 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 Relax at home. Relax, relax, relax at home. home. Business meetings. Business meetings. 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 Business meetings. Business meetings. Go out. Repeat. Go out. out. Go out. Go out. Go out. Go out. Out. Go out. Go out. Go out. Go out. Go out to clubs. Out to clubs. Go out. Go out to clubs. Go out to clubs. Visit parents. Visit parents. Visit parents. Work late. Everybody work late. Work late. Louder. Work late. Work late. Work late. Visit parents. Visit parents. Go out to clubs. 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 Business meetings. 
Business meeting. Relax at home. Relax, Relax at, at home. home. Meet my friend Bill. Meet, Meet my, friend. my friend Bill. And go to the gym. Go, go to the gym. gym. Do you have any questions about any of these activities? Nope. Okay, go ahead and listen to the audio. Yes. Listen to the audio. Complete the activities, okay? Okay. ¿Qué es lo que van a hacer? Van a arrastrar, a right? You're going to uh -huh. drag. Okay? Mm -hmm. I'll give you I'm time. Go okay. ahead. All right, here you have, here I have you. All right, perfect. So this is what you should be seeing pretty much, right? Go ahead and play the audio, right? Porque a veces tenemos muchas interferencias, ok? Entonces denle ustedes play el audio y ya escuchan muchas veces y luego tienen que drag, tienen que arrastrar ahí las respuestas a los días, right? Ahí está on Monday, right? Hay algo que la hace on Monday, de acuerdo al audio, right? On Thursday night. Sería on Thursday night. Thursday, yes, yes. Repeat, guys, on Thursday night. Thursday night. On Thursday night. Thursday night. Repeat on Sunday. On Sunday. Okay, repeat on Tuesday afternoon. On Tuesday afternoon. On Tuesday afternoon. Okay, on Friday night. On Friday night. On Friday night. Okay, repeat on Wednesday morning. On Wednesday morning. Siempre on, ¿verdad? On Wednesday morning. Wednesday. Wednesday. On Wednesday morning. On Saturday. Repeat on Saturday. On Wednesday morning. On Wednesday morning. On Friday night. On Tuesday afternoon. On Tuesday afternoon. On Sunday. On Sunday. 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 Okay. On Thursday night. On Thursday night. On Thursday night. On Thursday night. On Monday. On Monday. Okay. On Saturday. Ok, lo van a escuchar ustedes o, o gustan que yo se los, se los ponga, porque a veces tenemos un poquito de interferencia ahí con algunos chicos. No, teacher, porque no, no lo puedo escuchar. ¿No lo puedes escuchar? No lo puedo escuchar. Aquí le tendrías que dar play, right? Sí, Vamos a intentarlo entonces. Play, pero luego en la conferencia ya no, no escucho nada, por eso. Oh, all right, all right. Vamos a escucharlo entonces. Me ayudan con el audio, please, guys. Sí, se puede poner en mute también, porque no se escucha nada. Sí, vamos a, a usar el mute, miss, or everyone. Wait, let me mute everybody. Let me mute everybody. Here. Okay, I'm going to mute you, okay? So we can listen to this audio. Here we go. This week is a busy week. On Monday, I work late. On Tuesday afternoon, I meet my friend Bill. On Wednesday morning, I have a business meeting. On Thursday night, I relax at home. On Friday night, I go clubbing. On Saturday, I go to the gym. And on Sunday, I visit my parents. Okay, one more time. Here we go. This week is a busy week. On Monday, I work late. On Tuesday afternoon, I meet my friend Bill. On Wednesday morning, I have a business meeting. On Thursday night, I relax at home. On Friday night, I go clubbing. On Saturday, I go to the gym. And on Sunday, I visit my parents. 
a little fast, huh? A little fast. Did you understand? Or do you need it one more time? One more time? One more time. One more time. We're gonna celebrate. Let's listen, guys. One more time. Here we go. Take notes. Take notes, okay? This week is a busy week. On Monday, I work late. On Tuesday afternoon, I meet my friend Bill. On Wednesday morning, I have a business meeting. On Thursday night, I relax at home. On Friday night, I go clubbing. On Saturday, I go to the gym. And on Sunday, I visit my parents. Ronnie, what activity did you catch? Did you catch any? Acti activate your microphone. Only Ronnie. Only Ronnie. Okay. Okay. Uh, on Monday, work late. On Monday, say, say, on Monday. On Monday, I, Monday, I uh, work late. Work late. Is that correct? Work late. Let's check. Thank you. Did you get any answers, Susie, Susana Alfaro? On Thursday afternoon, meet my friend. Is it, is it, did you say on Tuesday? On Tuesday, yeah. Tuesday. Yes. Ah, okay, say it. On Tuesday afternoon, afternoon. On Tuesday afternoon. I meet I meet my friend my friend Hey, what's the meaning? Guys, what's the meaning in the Spanish of meet? Reunirse. Reunirse. Okay. En este caso, reunirse, right? Conocer también. Que bien, ok. Meet my friend. Reunirme con mi amigo, right? Ok. Did you have any other example? Volunteers, volunteers. Uh, on Wednesday morning, mm -hmm. go, go out to clubs. Mm, business sure. business meeting business meeting business meeting let's listen one more time pay attention this week is a busy week on monday i work late on tuesday afternoon i meet my friend bill on wednesday morning i have a business meeting on thursday night i relax at oh. home on friday night i go clubbing on saturday i go to the gym and on sunday I visit my parents. Easy queasy. Yes. Uh-huh. Yes. 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 Business meeting. Business meeting. On, 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 open your mouth. Wednesday on Wednesday morning. On Wednesday, Wednesday morning. morning. Business meeting. Business meeting. She has business, business meeting. meeting. Okay. Uh-huh. Talk to me. <laughs> on Tuesday, on Thursday night. Thursday uh -huh. night, relax at home. Go out to the. Uh, Wait, she relax or she go out to clubs? Relax, uh, relax, relax at home. At the home. At the home. She relax. Okay, she relaxes relax at, at home. home. Okay, something else. Um, on Friday, Friday night. On Friday night, go, go out, out, go out to the clubs. clubs. She go goes out to, to clubs. To clubs. Oh, all right. To Spend money, huh? Okay, what about Saturday? On Saturday, go to the gym. Go to the gym. Go to the gym. Okay, yeah. On, on Sunday, Sunday visit parents. Visit parents. Visit parents. Okay, let's check. You're a genius, guys. Wonderful Excellent. job. <laughs> Okay, practice that link. Congratulations. Practice that link. Practice that vocabulary. Okay. Okay, let me see if I can move. I need to go to the next to the next link. Okay, let me share this once again. All right. Can you see my screen? Can you see it? Yes. Okay, cool. Cool. Okay, we're going to have a little online class right now, okay? We're gonna have a little online class. 
I need everybody's participation. Oh my God, I missed this thing. Mm, I need this. Show me your faces right here. I want to see your faces. What is the topic? The topic is exercises and fitness. Repeat, exercise. Exercise. Fitness. All right, so we have two idioms right here. Idioms, what is an idiom? Idiom is like a special phrase, right? In the United States. Special phrase. Como un modismo, ¿verdad? Como something like that. For example, throw in the towel. Aprendamos esta expresión? Throw in the towel. 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 Yeah, I guess throw in the towel is give up. Rendirse. Give up and accept defeat. Rendirse, aceptar la derrota. Repeat, give up. Give up. And accept defeat. 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 All right, all right. And then we have an example. It says Jim realized, dice que Jim se dio cuenta, Jim realized he couldn't continue the race. So he threw in the towel. Dice que él se dio cuenta, right? Realize. Repeat. Jim realized. Jim realized. He couldn't continue the race. He couldn't continue the race. So he threw in the towel. Entonces él, como pues sí se dio cuenta, ¿verdad? Que no podía continuar en la carrera, continuar, él lanzó. Aquí está en pasado. Through. Presente es throw. Pasado. Through. Okay. Siguiente es put on pounds. Repeat, put on pounds. Put on pounds. Los delgaditos, put on right? Pounds. Los skinnies. Put on pounds. Gain put on pounds. weight. ¿Qué significa gain oh, weight? Gain weight. Gain weight. Es como ganar. Ganó peso. Ganar libras. Ajá, ganar libras. peso. That's right. Example. Okay. He's put on a few pounds. He's put, put on, on a few pounds. A few pounds. A few pounds. This past year. On, this past year. year. So, he decided so, to start jogging. This past year. Repeat. He's put on. He's put on a few pounds. A few pounds. This past year. This past year. So, he decided, so, he decided to start, to start, start jogging. jogging. Entonces, él, él como que ganó algunas libras, ¿verdad? Este año pasado, entonces, él ha iniciado, él inicia a correr, a trotar. Jog es trotar. Okay, jog. okay Cintia. Sí, run jog. es correr, ¿verdad? Jog es más despacio. Jog. 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 Yeah. Entonces, yeah. put on pounds. Okay. Put on pounds. Gain weight. Gain, gain weight. weight. Necesita ganar peso. You need to repeat. You need to. You need, you need to. You need to you need put, on yeah. put on pounds. Put on pounds. <laughs> okay, pounds. and throw in the towel. Repeat. Throw in the towel. Throw in the towel. Throw in the towel es como arrojar la toalla, es rendirte. Aceptar ah, la derrota, dice yeah. aquí. Accept defeat. Ah, oh. yeah. Accept defeat. Así como el, el, el Real Madrid y el Barcelona, right? They accept defeat, right? Aceptar la derrota. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Vaya, vámonos aquí con el audio. Um, hay unas preguntitas acá, right? Vamos a ver si podemos completarlo juntos, ¿ok? We're going to listen to the audio. Lo vamos a escuchar quizás unas tres veces. Ok, so I'm going to mute. I'm going to mute your microphone if I could. Hey, I hear you and Stephanie are really getting serious. Yeah, and I think she'll be impressed with my new exercise program. What? What are you talking about? What exercise program? What did you tell her? Well, you know, I enjoy staying in right. shape. First, I generally get up every morning at 5.30 a.m. Oh, yeah. Since when? You don't roll out of bed until at least 7.30 p.m. <laughs> no, no. 
then on Mondays and oh, Wednesdays, that's another tall tale. I almost always go jogging for about half hour, you know, to improve my endurance. Hey, jogging in the refrigerator for a glass of milk doesn't count. And of course, before I leave, I usually make sure to do some stretches so I don't uh, pull a muscle on my run. Right, one jumping jack. <laughs> and then I told her that I usually lift weights Tuesdays and Thursdays for about an hour after work. Huh. This helps me build muscle strength. Hmm, one pound barbell. <laughs> oh, no. And finally, I often go jogging on Saturdays with my dog. What dog? Uh, well, and I like hiking because it helps me burn off stress and reduce anxiety that builds up during the week. Oh, yeah, those lies. No, well, and as for Fridays, I sometimes just relax at home by watching a movie or inviting you over to visit. If I buy the pizza. But, and, I, and on Sundays, I take the day off from exercising, but I usually take my dog for a walk. Forget it. She'll never buy the story. All right. Tomemos notas entonces, guys. Take notes. Take notes. Please, as much as possible. Vamos con el segundo round. We're going to listen to it three times. Here we go. Hey, I hear you and Stephanie are really getting serious. Yeah. Come on, come on. I think she'll be impressed with my new ex. Hey, I hear you and Stephanie are really getting serious. Yeah, and I think she'll be impressed with my new exercise program. What? What are you talking about? What exercise program? What did you tell her? Well, you know, I enjoy staying in right. shape. First, I generally get up every morning at 5.30 a.m. Oh, yeah. Since when? You don't roll out of bed until at least 7.30 p.m. <laughs> no, no. And on Mondays and oh, Wednesdays, that's another tall tale. I almost always go jogging for about half hour, you know, to improve my endurance. Hey, jogging in the refrigerator for a glass of milk doesn't count. And of course, before I leave, I usually make sure to do some stretches so I don't uh, pull a muscle on my run. Right, one jumping jack. <laughs> and then I told her that I usually lift weights Tuesdays and Thursdays for about an hour after work. Huh. This helps me build muscle strength. Hmm, one pound barbell. <laughs> oh, no. And finally, I often go jogging on Saturdays with my dog. What dog? Uh, well, and I like hiking because it helps me burn off stress and reduce anxiety that builds up during the week. Oh, yeah, those lies. No, well, oh, yeah, yeah. as for Fridays, I sometimes just relax at home by watching a movie or inviting you over to visit. If I buy the pizza. But, and, I, and on Sundays, I take the day off from exercising, but I usually take my dog for a walk. Forget it. She'll never buy this story. Ahora, sí sé que es challenging porque hablan súper rápido, right? Pero si lo escuchamos muchas, muchas, muchas veces, right? Vamos ahí, right? Educating our ears. No sé si gustan responderlo o quizás gustan quizás ustedes practicarlo, right? Porque aquí hay mucho vocabulario. Interesting. You want to try? Aquí está la primera pregunta, dice, What does the man usually do on Monday and Wednesdays? ¿Qué hace él, right? Mondays and Wednesdays. We have the options. He does aerobics, he plays tennis, or he runs. Do you know? He runs. He runs. He runs. Okay, that is correct. Good job. He runs. He said, Michael, almost always go jogging. I almost always go jogging. Yo casi siempre, dice, almost always go jogging for about a half an hour. Right? Okay. Before he goes out to exercise, antes que se va él a hacer ejercicio, he does push-ups. Repeat. He does push-ups. He does push-ups. Push 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 it's, it's breakfast. breakfast. What do you think? It's breakfast or it stretches? Breakfast. Porque aquí dice, before he goes out to exercise. Antes que él se va, dice, before es antes. Antes que él se va a hacer ejercicio. What does he do? Push ups. Stretches. Victor dice stretches, que es estiramiento. Calentamiento. Sí, calentamiento. ¿Es correcto? ¿Los demás qué dicen? 
It's correct. It's correct. Good job, Mr. Victor. Okay. The man lift weights. A ver, todos. Lift weights. Lift weights. Lift 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 Lose weight. Lose weight. Or to improve oh, his endurance. The stretch and the muscles. Strengthen. 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 Para fortalecer, como para hacerlos más fuertes, ¿verdad? Stretch. Repeat. Stretch his muscles. Stretch his muscles. Stretch his muscles. It helps me build muscle strength, dijo el que le ayuda a construir, build, construir muscle strength. ¿Quién me tiene ahí una conversación ahí detrás? Please, me ayuda. Who's that? Ok. Y de último vamos acá. Tenemos the man, the man goes hiking. Esta actividad, go, la actividad es go hiking. Repeat, go hiking. Go hiking. Go hiking. Go hiking. Do you like? Hiking. Do you like to go, go hiking. hiking, guys? No. ¿Saben qué es go hiking? No. 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 Ir de caminata. Go hiking. Hiking. Dice acá, the oh, man hiking. goes hiking on Saturdays. Que el señor dice que va de caminata, dice, se toma una caminata los sábados. Vean, Saturdays con ese, Saturdays. Porque estamos hablando de una rutina. Cuando usted me diga su rutina, usted me va a decir on Saturdays. Escribe la S y lo pronuncia y me da una actividad que usted haga el sábado, ¿sí? On Saturdays, repeat, on Saturdays, on Saturdays, on Saturdays. I go to the gym. Repeat, I go to the gym. I go to the gym. O puede ser que usted me diga, I go to the supermarket. Right. I go, I go to the supermarket. Correcto, es parte de su rutina. I go to the shop. I go to church, excelente. The man goes hiking on Saturdays. ¿Por qué dice? To get rid of. A ver, apuntemos eso. Okay. Get rid of. To get rid of. Aquí, get rid of. Las tres palabras. Get, uh, to get read, to get off. read off. A ver todos. To get, get rid of. Get rid of. Get rid of. Get rid of. Deshacerse de. Right. Dice, to, to get rid of worries, of his worries Worry. from the week. From Dice the que week. él quiere liberarse, quiere deshacerse de sus preocupaciones. Worries, yeah, de la semana. O dice, to burn off weight, para quemar uh, peso, right? Para quemar peso. To burn off weight from over overeating over, over o sea eating. para quemar el, el peso que, que, que le da de, de comer de más a veces verdad overeating a veces nosotros ah, overeat yeah. y también dice to visit a friend oh, a visitar a un amigo what do you think from To get rid of, to, repeat, to get rid of his worry from, from the week. That is correct. Amazing, amazing. And the last one. What does the man do on Sundays? What does man do? Options, do? options, class, options. He, he, he goes. goes. He goes. The person, a, a I walk. go, you go. He, he, he goes. He goes. Pronunciation. He goes. For a walk. For a walk. El va a una caminata. Caminata, okay. Caminata. Next. He goes, he relaxes and watch TV. He relaxes and watch TV. Swimming. Swimming. Okay, he next. Swimming. He relaxes. Relax. Relax. Watch the person. TV. I relax. He relax. You relax. 
What do you think? He relaxes. He relaxes and watches TV. He goes for a walk and he relaxes and watches TV. Bueno, he goes for a walk and he relaxes and watches TV. ¿Con qué nos vamos? A ver. He goes for a walk. Goes for a walk. Sure. He relax. He relax. He, he relax. relax. He goes for a walk. He relaxes. He relaxes. Relaxes. Tercera persona, ¿ya? Yeah? And watches TV. Watches a ver. TV. Nos vamos acá. Yes. No. 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 Yes. Yeah, but 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 on Sundays I take the day off. Oh. Repeat. Yeah. I take, take the day I take off the day off. From off. Yeah. Repeat. Like off. I take I take the, the day, day off. off. Okay. On from Sundays. On Sundays. On Sunday, I take the day off. Repeat, on Sunday, I take the day off. Porque el, el domingo se toma el día libre. Libre. Right? libre. Entonces fallamos en una, pero cuatro de cinco estamos muy bien. Observamos entonces the uh, vocabulary that we have studied from this topic. Let me copy this one as well for you. Let me see. And let me share uh, these links. Estos links los pueden ir ustedes guardando, ¿verdad? Para sus prácticas personales. All right. They are very, very useful. Ah, este es el que hicimos ahorita. Ok, perfecto. Y este otro, let's see. Men and woman. Vamos a ver. Ok, aquí está. School life. Men and woman. Idioms. Idioms. A ver, otros dos idioms. A ver, a walking, repeat, a walking encyclopedia. A walking encyclopedia. A walking encyclopedia. Como la película de Walking Dead, ¿verdad? Pero aquí sería a walking encyclopedia. A person who seems to know everything. Someone who looks very, very intelligent, right? For example, my roommate would do my well on a trivia game well show. He's a walking encyclopedia. Dice que mi compañero de cuarto, roommate, lo haría muy bien, dice, ¿verdad? En un juego de trivia, ¿eh? En un juego, en un espectáculo, porque él es una enciclopedia andando. She's who's super intelligent, right? He's a walking encyclopedia. Ok, para decir que alguien es super intelligent, right? Este es un idiom, ok? Es una expresión nativa. Um, next, have the right stuff. Have the right stuff. Have the, oh, the right, right, right stuff. 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 Have the right stuff. Have the right stuff. Have the right stuff. Have the right stuff. Es cuando tenemos right todo stuff. lo necesario, ¿verdad? Have Para lo que, right lo que fuese que vayamos a hacer. Por right ejemplo, es have the needed skills to succeed. Tener todo lo necesario para ser exitoso. To succeed. Por ejemplo, Susan has the right stuff. To get into any o sea, ella tiene todas las, las uh, ¿cómo se dice? Sí, sí, sí. Skills, las, las habilidades, sí, sí, sí. Right? Sí, sí. Para, para entrar en cualquier sí, sí. colegio, ¿verdad? Que ella prefiera. So, mm -hmm. she has the right stuff. Repeat, I have the right stuff. I have. I have. I have the right stuff. I have the right stuff. I have the right stuff. All right, all right. Okay. Entonces vamos al último listening. Vamos a tomar notas, guys. Listen as much as possible. Same dynamic. Tomamos nota, right? Susana, adelante. Va a pasar lista. Hey, you're right, Susana. Que me emociono yo. Susana, thank you so much. Yes, you're right. You're right. Thank you. A ver, aquí estamos. 
Okay, guys, I'm going to mention your name. Please say if you are in action or missing in action, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, by the way, for your responsibility, right? Your punctuality every day in classes. I really like your responsibility. So let me start with the attendance. If my computer loads fast. Okay, one second. One second, ladies and gentlemen. Don't panic. Don't panic. Hey, uh, por cierto, Lucy, ya estuvo los, sus ejercicios, ¿verdad, Miss? ¿Todo bien? Eh, me gustaría que me los cheque. Quería saber si, si sí, este, de hecho, entré en la correcta o no. Sí, de hecho, antes de, <risa> antes de entrar a la, a la clase ahora, estuve revisando así como que echándole un ojito y sí, vi que ya le aparecían 100 ahí. Okay, ya pues, sí. No había entrado, tenía la plataforma equivocada realmente. <risa> Bye, chicos. Está nerviosa la lista de asistencia. I don't know what's happening. Bueno, voy a tratar de um, esperar que cargue y en todo eso, pues, nos vamos a otra cosita. Oh, yeah. Es que ahorita el internet, ya yeah, it's very slow. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Bueno, entonces esos links, guys, vayanlo guardando, right? Así como todo el vocabulario que estamos aprendiendo. Remember, it's time for you to absorb as much vocabulary as possible. Y quizás me voy a ir al libro porque no me cargó la lista. Son los, li los links que he puesto en el, en el chat. Sí, es correcto. Sí. Uh -huh. Gracias. That's right, lady. Bueno, y se me movió también acá el libro. I'm sorry. Ok, let me share my screen. Ok, so we're going to go to the um, Insta for Manual. Ok, if you're with me. <coughs> This is something we already saw, okay. These past days. Guys, be careful with the pronunciation of the um, of the days of the week, okay? Because we already, we already pronounced them. Okay, what we're going to learn today is the different departments in your workplace. Yes, for example, production. Repeat, production. 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 Can, you, can you please spell production for me? Go. P R O U C T I O N. Production. Product. 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 In the area, in the company, it's called production. Production. Repeat. Research. 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 And Research. development. And development. development. Research and development. Research. Research. Uh, how do you interpret this department in your company? <laughs> Es como el, el research es como una, una búsqueda, una investigación y el development es el desarrollo. Dígame. Uh, investigador y desarrollador. Desarrollador. Ok. Veamos. Research. 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 Search. Research. Es buscar. Research. Research. Es una investigación a fondo, right? Research. In development es desarrollo. Repeat, purchasing. 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 Okay. 
es el departamento de compras. Purchasing. Repeat, purchasing. Purchasing. Repeat, marketing. Marketing. Marketing, marketing or marketing? Marketing. 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 You can say marketing or marketing. Marketing. What's your interpretation for marketing? Mercadeo. Mercadeo. El departamento de mercadeo. That's a marketing department. And human resources management. Human Repeat, repeat, folks, repeat. Human resources human. management. Human resources management. Human resources management. Hay una forma de decirlo más fácil y solo es la H y la R, ¿verdad? HR. 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 Department. Repeat. HR. Department. HR. Department. Se entiende. Es la H y la R, ¿verdad? También se conoce así. Ok. Vámonos con accountant. Accountant and finance. Accounting. And, and finance. 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 Accounting and finance. Accounting and finance. Human resources management. Human resources management. Marketing. Purchasing. Research and development. Production. All right. All right. Vamos a analizar entonces. The activities, the activities they, they, they perform. perform. They perform. They perform. Mm. perform. Letter M, perform. perform. Aprendámonos ese verbo, por favor. Apúntenlo ahí con color rojito. Perform. perform. No es perfume, perform. right? No, 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 nada que ver, right? Es ejecutar. ¿Cómo dice? Ejecutar. Oscar, what did you say? Oh no, just talking about the per perfume. <laughs> oh, perfume, <laughs> yeah, perfume. Okay, so in this case, it's perform. Este verbo es mágico, guys. Okay, verifiquen la parte. Okay, ejecutar. Okay, what activities they perform? Vamos a ver primera actividad. Let's see, Juan Ramón, first activity. Can you see Juan Ramon? Can you read, please? Research. Uh -huh. Tell me, tell me, talk to me. You, the guy in the hammock. Hammock. <laughs> Talk to me, Raymond. Research. <laughs> and uh, identify. Come on, class. Research. 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 Identify. Identify. What customers want and need at the right, right place. Right at the right place. Do you understand? Do you understand? Any question? Oh. Investigar. Buscar, e identificar buscar, cuáles son lo que los clientes quieren y necesitan correcto en el lugar correcto what department do you think that is marketing 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 you think is marketing yeah marketing okay 
Ok, pongámoslo ahí entonces. Marketing is number four. Marketing oh. is number four. Ok. Let's go, class. Mm -hmm. Next activity. Next. Uh, recruit. 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 Select. Select. And. Hey, how do you say train? Entrenar. 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 Sí, puede ser entrenar también si estamos en deportes, si estamos empresarialmente hablando, sería capacitar. Ok, train. New employees. Employees, because it's, it's a group. For the right job. What department do you think does that job? HR. Human resources management. Correct. Human resources management. Management. Or also known as HR. HR. All right. All right. All right. Let's go with the next activity. Next activity is. Keep. The financial record of transactions involving monetary flows in outflow, inflows, ingresos, money. Money that comes in inflows. Inflows. In outflows. Outflows. What is outflows? Outflows. Una salida, los gastos, right? All right. So keep track. Keep the financial record. Llevar el, el, el record, ¿verdad? Financiero of the transactions involving monetary inflows and outflows. What the department? Account what? Account and finance. Account, 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 account. account. And number six. The number, the number six. 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 Accounting and finance. finance. That's right. Finance. 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 And finance. Finance. Very well. Accounting and finance. Next finance. activity. Control, control and, and supervise, supervise the production, the production or force, or force and, and inventory, and inventory, workforce, workforce. workforce. What's the meaning of workforce? Urgency. What is what is workforce? Es la mano de obra. De obra. That's the workforce. 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 Okay, entonces, workforce. control and supervise the production workforce in no, inventory. Fresh. What department does that? Number one. The number two. The number two. No. No. Why? No. Number one. Production. Number one. Production. Um, one. Production. production. Yes. Production. Control and supervise the production oh, workforce and inventory. All right. Cool. One. One. Next. Develop. 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 The ballot and design. New or improve. Repeat improve. 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 A ver, pronunciation. Improve. 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 Mejorar. Mejorar. Right? Este verbo es nuestro. Right? Every ¿Eh? day. We need to improve. improve. Yeah. Develop. Design. Design. New. New. Or, or improve. improve. Existing. Existing. Products. Products. Processes. Process. 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 Son varios. Process. Processes. Sí. Entonces. Oh, 
Ah. Desarrollar, diseñar no. nuevos o mejorar los existentes productos o procesos. Two. What do you think? To research and develop develop. and manage. This one so, is research, research and develop. Research and development. And development. development. Okay, the last development. one, the last one. Let's go. Buy, 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 buy and, and, and acquire. And acquire. 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 Raw material. Raw Raw materials. What is raw material? Raw materials. What's raw material? Raw materials. prima? Materia prima. Nice job. Vocabulario técnico, ladies and gentlemen. Tomen nota. Acquire is adquirir. Buy acquire. Repeat. Buy. Comprar. Buy. And acquire. 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 Production. Equipment. 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 Repeat. Etc. Etc. For the use. For the use of the organization. For the use of the organization. Which department is that? Purchasing. Purchase, purchase. The purchasing purchase department. The purchasing. That's totally right. That's totally right. Activity number three. <coughs> Oscar. Yeah. Explain to mm -hmm. a partner what activities you and a co-worker do in your department. Vaya, fíjense bien. Bless you, ladies. Bless you. God bless you, lady. God bless you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Vaya, bien. Fíjense lo que vamos Amen. a hacer, right? Dice, explain what activities. ¿Qué actividades? Usted va a explicar what activities you in a co-worker. ¿Quién es a co-worker? Who is a co-worker? Compañero, compañero. Puede ser un compañero, una compañera. Usted elija ahí, ¿verdad? You and your co-worker do lo que hacen ustedes in your department. Entonces, aquí sería algo personal y algo en tercera persona, right? For example, I can say, I plan my classes and my co-worker sends emails. ¿Qué sería ahí? Algo personal. I plan my classes. And I misspell classes. It's like this. I plan my classes and my coworker. Bueno, yo puse coworker, ¿verdad? Ustedes pueden poner un nombre ya, sabiendo que estamos hablando de coworkers. Um, I plan my classes and Roberto sends. ¿Sí? Sends iría en tercera persona porque estoy hablando de él, ¿ok? Entonces solo tienen que asegurarse eso. Una actividad personal, right? I punch in. El que aprendimos ayer. I punch in at 7 a.m. And Carlos punches in at 9 a.m. Yeah? Similar to this. I punch in. Uy, se me fue así. Sería I punch in. Así era, chicos. I punch. Oh, yeah. I punch in at seven. I punch in at seven and Carlos punches in at nine. Entonces, algo affirmative de ustedes y algo affirmative en tercera persona. Okay? Go ahead. Uh, preparen su ejemplo, por favor. Te les demos ahí unos dos o tres minutos mientras vemos si carga aquí la attendance sheet. Any question, let me know, please. Any question, let me know. Three minutes, three minutes, people, three minutes. You have a question for me? Help me to share with. with it that. says I make images. Edit 
in Photoshop. Ah, but you need to put synthesis activity in third person, remember? Yeah. So check must go with the letter S. So in Cynthia checks for okay. activities to do. Okay, chicos, voy a ir a la attendance mientras están trabajando en eso. Check it out. Here we go. Okay, Cynthia Michelle Chavez Vargas, are you here? Douglas Humberto Sanchez Diaz. I am here. Welcome. Hugo Ezequiel Deres Mauricio. Yes, you're here. Hugo? No. Yes, yes. Oh. All right. I heard I heard you. Okay. I barely hear you, but I got it. It is Yvette Saldana Lenarduzzi. Present. All right. Ivan Armando Mendez Parada. Present teacher. Okay, Jose Heriberto Cruz Amaya. Josué Balmore Cruz Montano. Present teacher. Sorry, I am a little late. No problem, Josué. By the way, Josué, you stay today 10 minutes after the class, okay? Okay. Thank you, sir. Juan Ramón Navarro Díaz. Kathleen Stephanie Portillo de Lorenzana. Lucía del Carmen Ayala Mejía. I'm here. Luz Marlene Cornejo Alvarez. Melvin Rafael Díaz Mijango. Noel Ernesto Vega Ortiz. Present. Present. All right, Luz, got it. And Noel Ernesto Vega Ortiz, sí, ¿verdad? Present. Oscar, sí, sí. Okay, Oscar Armando Flores Rodríguez. I'm here. Okay, Roberto Antonio Ramírez González. Ronnie, oops. Ronnie Osvaldo Claros Flamenco. In action. All right. <laughs> Susana Carolina Alfaro Gomez. Present. All right. Victor Manuel Andrade Galias. Present. Willie Vanessa Diaz Hernandez. <laughs> Jocelyn Lisbeth Angel Inglés. Present. All right. And then Carlos Eduardo Gomez Gomez. Present, teacher. Reina Mercedes Altagracia Barrientos. Carla Lisset Valladares Flamenco. Present. Jeanette Esmeray Guzmán Rosa. And Rubén Enrique Reyes Cruz. Rubén, ¿está? ¿No está Rubén? Bueno. Ya estamos entonces. Guys, you got my examples for me? You got my examples? Ramón, usted comienza, Ramón. Let's go. Hello? Vaya, ¿quién ya tiene? Volunteers, volunteers, raise your hand. Levanten su mano. Raise your hand. I Raise your hand. Este es el reto, right? One personal and one third person. Slips. I visit customers. Ah, and Jose fixes computers. Puede ser así. Uy, se me fue solo para Oscar, creo. No, creo. no, no, no. no. Vaya, entonces puede ser así, right? This is another example from me. I visit customers. Yeah, I visit customers. Customer. No. In Jose fixes computers. Okay. Entonces, ahí yo lo tengo fixes, lo tengo en tercera persona porque estoy hablando de José, mi compañero, right? José fixes computers. A ver, ¿quién tiene example or question? Um, okay. I send email and Ramón Vamos a ver, I send emails. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
and study. Ramon. Uh -huh. Prepare computers. Study. And Ramon. Study. Study. I study. Prepare. Study. Prepare. Study English. Oh, do you say? Sí. Like. Prepare. Pero quiero saber si me le pusiste okay. ese o no. Okay. Sería repair uh, o repairs. Repair. Repair. En este caso sería con S, ¿verdad? Porque Ramón repara la tercera persona. Está bien. I, I send emails. Yeah. And Ramón repairs. Pronunciamos, ¿ok? Esa S también. Repairs. Repairs. Computers. Computers. Good job, Ronnie. Somebody else? Somebody else? ¿Quién más? An example. Go ahead. Uh, I edit images in Photoshop and Cynthia checks for activities to do. All right. Cynthia checks, checks. for activities checks. to do. Yeah. Wonderful. All right. Somebody else. Can mask, can mask, can mask. Talk to me. Teacher. Go, Josue. I call the marketing department and Daniel goes to meeting. And, and Daniel goes to meetings? To meeting. Excellent. Um, you got it, boss. Good job. Somebody else? I buy fruits and she buys vegetables. Okay. Bye. Vamos a ver, me la dicta. I buy fruits. I buy fruits and she buys Vegetables. Name, vegetables. Name. vegetables. Vegetables. Podemos decir veggies. Podemos decir vegetables. Ese buy, ¿cómo me lo puso ese buy para cuando me dice she? She buys. Spell it, spell it for me. B-U-Y-S. Yes! Correct. Purple, the right. person. Right. I buy fruits and she buys vegetables. Fishy. You got it, Susie. King Mas, King Mas, King Mas. Participation. Let's go. Okay. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. No more. My God, I can't, I, I don't hear Douglas, I don't hear Carla, I don't hear I, Yvonne, I don't hear Kathleen. What happened with you? You need to participate. Use your I, English. Talk to me. Talk to me. Teacher, how, how do you say Repeat, repeat, please, que se te, you're breaking up. Se te está cortando. Repeat. How do you say Great. 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 Somebody else who somebody else has a participation. Type in. Douglas, you have I'm sorry? Juan. Ramon. Uh, Ramon. Ramon. I go. Dice Reina dice I go to the project. Ah, la Jerry. Usted quiere decir yo voy al proyecto. Okay, I go to the project. Okay. Helen writes the report. All right, excellent. Helen writes the report. Muy bien conjugado, Miss Reina. Good job. Good job. Can okay. mask, can mask. Who else? No more. My gosh, que tacaños, chicos. You're stingy. You're stingy. <laughs> <risa> vamos siempre, vamos a participar, ok. Voy ahorita a compartir um, the screen once again. Gracias a los que están ahí participando siempre, right? I love it. 
Ahí está Ramón, ya, ya puso. ¿Ya estuvo? Sí, Ramón, solo te faltaría la S. Surf. ¿Dónde? 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 Surf. I drink coffee. I drink coffee. <laughs> right. That is so important. <laughs> I drink is on or in. This I drink coffee and runny surfs. En realidad, <laughs> en realidad solo sería the internet to solo sería the internet. Surf the, the internet. internet. Uh -huh. So right. sing la sin la preposición in. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Surf the Pero, internet. Good surf. job. Good job, Ramon. There you are. Ramon is in the house, people. <laughs> <laughs> Drink coffee and, and run. It. Ah, surf, pero surf, ¿qué faltó surf, ahí? Surf. Eh, Oscar te dijo algo ahí que faltó. La S. Sí, ahí en serves, porque, porque ahí ya es la actividad de Ronnie, ya estás hablando en tercera persona, el verbo iría conjugado en tercera persona con S solamente en este caso, serves, sonido FS al final, serves, Surf. en Ronnie, serves, the internet. For a girl. ¿Quién me dijo Kathleen? <risa> oh, ok, Kathleen, está bien, no hay problema. Todos estamos teniendo problemas, pero gracias por reportarme. Sí, yo sé bien, thank you so much. Aquí, let's check. Tenemos, how to use simple present information questions, right? We have, what do I do? Repeat, what? What? What do I do? I do you. ¿Qué actividad hago yo? What do I do? What do I do? Answers. What do I do? Supervise. Supervise. Production. Workforce. Workforce. Where do you work? Repeat, where do you work? Where do you work? Repeat, where do you work? Where do you work? All right, all right. Company, work? right? Company, right? I work in the accounting department. I work in the accounting department. In the accounting department. When? When, when do we go to meetings? When do we go to meetings? We go to meetings two times. Dos veces. Okay. At week. Dos veces a la semana. How? Repeat. How? How uh, do they the marketing? Repeat, how do they plan the marketing? How do they plan the marketing? Repeat, they investigate. A ver, ese verbo, pongámoslo también, está bonito, aparte, right? Investigate. 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 The customers. Aquí, las necesidades. De este apóstrofe, ¿verdad? Posesión. De los clientes. What time? ¿A qué hora? What time? What time do you take do you break? breakfast? Take breakfast. Breakfast. Take breakfast. 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 Repeat. Repeat. What time do you take breakfast? What time do you take breakfast? I take breakfast, I take breakfast at 8 a.m. Repetimos la actividad. Take breakfast. Position para la hora. At am. Entonces aquí en vez de esta pregunta yo quisiera que usáramos what do you do, ¿verdad? Porque es what do I do es como que hago yo, es como que usted mismo se esté preguntando. Entonces, always when we want to say the the hour we need to use the article at a preposition oh at. preposition at. yes always, always. not okay. other preposition than at okay okay thank you 
y, 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 y at también tiene otros usos, ¿ok? Se puede usar también con lugares, right? Pero sí, cuando sea la hora específicamente, vamos a usar at, ¿ok? Entonces, la primera pregunta sería, what do you do? What do you do? Y con deducción sería, what do you do? 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 Next question. Where do you work? Repeat. Where do you work? 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 Excelente, Oscar. You sound native. Okay. Everybody, where do you work? 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 Repeat. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Everybody, what do you do? What do you do? Okay. Where do you work? 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 Do you go to meetings? Repeat. When do you go to meetings? ¿Cuándo vas tú a las o a una reunión? When do you go to meetings? When. ¿Qué sería when, guys? Cuando. Cuando. Por eso acá él, él le dice, ¿verdad? No le dice cuándo, pero sí le da una frecuencia, ¿verdad? I go to meetings. ¿Ves? I go to meetings. Two times a week. A ver, una vez. Once a week. Repeat, once a week. Two times. Repeat, once a week. Two times. Dos veces podemos decir two times. Repitamos two times a week. 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 Twice a week. Y luego ahí podemos usar números. Three times a week. Four times a week. Repeat, once a week. Once a week. Once a week. Permítanme que ahí me equivoqué. Aquí sería twice a week. Dos veces a la semana. Sería twice. Twice a week. Repeat, twice a week. Tres veces ya sería con número, ¿verdad? Three times, four times, five times, etc. And the last one. Oh, tenemos acá. How do they plan the marketing? Está bien. What time do you take breakfast? Me gusta esta. What time do you take breakfast? Repeat. What time do you take breakfast? 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 Vaya, entonces, vamos a tener estas preguntitas, right? Para practicar ahorita mismo. Miren qué bonito. Entonces tenemos acá, what do you do? Where do you work? Where do you work? When do you go to meetings? Y aquí, what time do you take breakfast? Ok, aparte de estas preguntitas, vamos a otra pregunta que estábamos usando ayer también. Let me go here. This one's perfect, perfect, perfect. Vamos a extraer de acá las preguntas más importantes para practicar ahorita. What's your name? Podemos incluir ahí. What's your name? Right? What's your name? Para combinar el verbo to be también, porque de verdad tenemos que practicar ambos. Action verbs and verb to What's be as much name? as possible. Where are you from? También. Where are you from? Podemos usar. Where are you from? How are you today? Y how old are you? Podemos preguntar, how old are you? ¿Cuántos años tienes? How old are you? Esa manera de práctica, oh, right? <laughs> okay, so. Let me see. How old are you? Perfect. Todas las preguntitas que hemos puesto en el chat las vamos a usar. Necesito que todo me, me participe en as much as possible. All right. Let me see. The 
panel here. Let me see the panel. Vamos a entrevistar ahorita, chicos. ¿Qué les parece si entrevistamos a los que tienen camarita activada, que son súper obedientes? You're so obedient. You're so responsible. We love you guys. We love you. Ok. The most comfy guy is Ramón. Entonces vamos a aprovechar que él está súper cómodo, right? That's the most comfortable student. Así que, a ver, todos, esas preguntas que están en el chat. Vamos, abramos el chat y let's go to practice. Go. Todas las preguntas van para ti, Ramón. ¿Listo ahí? Ok. Vamos, vamos, hey, Ramón. chicos. What do you do? Excuse me, Ramón. What do you do? How do you work? Ok, te llovieron tres ahí un solo. Ok, what do you do es la primera. What do you do, Ramón? What do you do? A ver, todas estas preguntas son las que tenemos que dominar. Class, what do you do? Is occupation. I am in class. No. No. What? Occupation. Occupation. What? Occupation. What do you okay. do? Remember? Okay, okay. Uh -huh, Ramon, what do you do? Uh -huh, class, what do you do? Talk to me. Occupation. I am a visual designer. Correct. What? I am a visual what? designer. Is it a visual? Yeah. Yeah. I am, a, I am a visual designer. It's your job. Yes. I am, I am a, a mechanic. I am an engineer. I am a supervisor. I am a manager. What do you do? Repeat. What do you do? What do you do? The pregunta ya la vimos, chicos. Ajá, Ramón, what do you do? I am engineer. Okay, siguiente pregunta. Vamos a ver, siguiente pregunta. Next. For, Where do you work? work? Where do you work? Very good, Josué. Uh -huh, Juan? I work in Alcaldía de Quilisco. Nice. Quilisco Town Hall. ¿Cómo sería? Quilisco Town, Town Hall. City Hall. Oh, City Hall. No es Town Hall. Yeah. Quilisco City oh. Hall. I work oh. in. Hickey Lesco City Hall. A ver, Ramón, con, con acento gringo, vamos. Town Hall. Sí, es un sinónimo, eh, Oscar. Es un sinónimo. Uh -huh. Vaya, otra pregunta. Next, next, next. Vamos. How are you today? How are you today, Ramón? Hi, fine. Thanks. And you? Cool. Pasó esa pregunta, ok, excediendo expectativas. Muy bien. ¿Algo otra preguntita, chicos, que tenemos ahí en el chat? Vamos. Uh, how old are you, Ramón? How old are you? I am eight years old. I'm sorry, can you repeat? I am 28 years old. Oh, you're, you're very young. You're very young, right? Where are you from? Where are you from? Thank you, Hugo. Where are you from? I am from El Salvador. All right. Give it up for Ramon, guys. Good job. Good job, Ramon. Where do you live? Vamos a pasar con alguien más para que alguien más sienta el power. Vamos a ver, Lucía, el Carmen Mejía, vamos con usted, right? Five minutes interviews. Todas las preguntas que hemos visto, todos los que no me están uh, participando necesitan honrar su beca y participar, ¿ok? Vamos, okay. questions, let's go to Lucía. Lucía, what do you do? Uh... I clean and my job. What do you do? Una vez más, what do you do? Is asking you for your job, not an activity. 
but okay. your job. Are you a secretary? Are you a nurse? Are you a singer? What do you I do? Am cosmetóloga. No sé cómo se dice en inglés. ¿Cómo se dice en inglés cosmetóloga? Puede decir hairdresser. Hair Puede decir hairstylist. Creo que sería mejor por hairstylist, fíjese. Hairstylist. 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 I am a. I am a. Hairstylist. Hairstylist. Ok, todos tenemos que tener ya nuestro oh, job, ok, guys? Si no, me tienen oh. que preguntar, ¿verdad? Right? ¿Cómo se dice? Ok. Uh, también existe el término, eh, Lucy, el término tal cual, um, cosmetologist. Cosmetologist. Uh -huh. okay. uh, ese está un poquito más... Eh, como menos usado, right? Como ah, cosmetology es muy generalizado. Hairdresser, hairstylist es como que más actual. Eh, pero puede ser cualquiera de los dos. What, mm -hmm. what okay. is your mother's name? What is your mother's name? What is your mother's name, Lucy? Oh. Es... What is uh, mother, mother's days? Mother's name. Mother's name. It's mother's. Your your what is your mother's name? Your name is Lucia, right? Your uh, name yes. is Lucia. Okay, but what's your mother's name? What is mother? For example, my mother's uh -huh. name is Maria Isabel. That's my mother's oh, name. Oh, it's two two no two names. My my mother's name is Lucia del Carmen. Oh, the same? The same. Oh, nice. Igual que usted. Okay, next question. Go. Where do you work? Where do you work, Lucia? Where, where do you work? Work. Work. Yes. Listen. Where do you work? Where do you work? Um, okay, I work at. I work at. I work at. I work at. Y vamos a dar el nombre de la empresa. De la empresa. Ah, pueden ah, dar okay. el nombre de la empresa, pueden dar el departamento de la empresa, como ustedes prefieran, right? Al menos que demos okay. ahí informacióncita. Next question, go. Lucía. Ok. Excuse me, Lucía. Hola. How, how do you spell your last name? How do you spell your last name? Ma is I am E J I A. Very well. My 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 last name. Uh, Mejia. M E J I A. Difícil, Miss. Tiene todo el sonido vocal ahí. A J I A. Oh my God. Right. Yes. Practice makes perfect. Good job. Vamos a entrevistar entonces, let me see, a Susana Alfaro. Everybody making questions to Susana. Let's go. Excuse me, you? Susana. Yes. What time yes. do you take breakfast? Excellent. Nadie había hecho eso. Bien. I take my breakfast a a a o'clock. Repeat, can you repeat, Susie? I take my breakfast eight yes. o'clock. Eight o'clock, okay, okay. Solo te faltó algo, te faltó la preposition que usamos con la hora. ¿Cuál era? At. 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 At eight. Y curiosamente, guys, saben que, que hay un símbolo que también se pronuncia de esa manera. ¿Saben cuál es? Es un símbolo que usamos en los correos electrónicos. 
Oh. Arroba. A ver, ¿cómo se dice arroba en inglés? Teacher Caleb se los enseñó. Ah. Le dice at. 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 Oh. Imagínense, ¿verdad? ¿Cuándo íbamos a aprender a decir arroba en inglés? <risa> se dice at. Right? at. No, no crean, guys. Hay chicos intermedios que no saben decir arroba en inglés. Y el no okay. saber decir arroba en inglés quiere decir que usted no puede dar un correo. No está capacitado para dar esa pieza de información. So, apuntemos ahí. Gmail, teacher. ¿Perdón? Huh? At gmail.com Sería at gmail y punto se dice dot. At, 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 at. Entonces es un poquito confuso porque arroba se dice at, at y punto at. se dice dot. dot. Okay. El mensaje lo mandó directo a mí. Directo te lo mandé, es que ahorita tengo okay. todo loco esto. Reenviarlo, puedes reenviarlo. Ok. Vaya, entonces estamos con quién? ¿Con quién estamos? Uh -huh. Con Susana, ¿verdad? Ajá, Susi. So, what time do you take breakfast? Um, I take my breakfast at 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. A.M., right? Uh -huh. A.M., uh, very good. Next question, next question. Let's go. Uh, what do you do uh, last Monday, Susan? Ahí no aplica. Solo sería, oh, okay. what do you do? What do you do? What do you do es tiempo presente. Last ah. Monday ya es tiempo pasado. Ah. So, quedémonos what con do what do you do, do Susana. Okay. I am an engineer. All right. You are an engineer. Repeat. I am an engineer. I am an engineer. Repeat. I am an engineer. I am an engineer. I am, I am an, an engineer. engineer. Next question. Go. Excuse me, Susana, do you have brother and sister? Yes, I have. Um, I have three brothers and five sisters. I have, I have, I have three? Three brothers. Uh -huh. And, and five? Uh, five, five sisters. sisters. Ah, corroborando ahí, ¿verdad? Ok, 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 me gusta. Next question, next question, let's go. What time do you take breakfast? Do you breakfast? Repeat, Reina. What time do you take your breakfast? Ah, pero esa ya se le hicieron, Reinita. Oh. Yes. Next question. Hey, Susan. It's me. What is, your last, what is your last name? What is your last name? Uh, my last name is Alfaro. Thanks. How do you spell it? That A L F A R O R O R. Awesome. Good job. Good job. Hey, Susana, yeah. I have a question for you. Yeah. Who's, who's Josue Cruz? Who's Josue Cruz? Um, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Repeat, repeat. My classmate. He, he is. He is. He is. He is. He is. My classmate. Yes, you're speaking completely. I love it. <laughs> Vaya, vámonos entonces con Josué. Everybody making questions to Josué now. Let's go. Uh, okay, I have a question for you, Josué. I have a question. Let me start. Let me start. Oh, Sway, I have a question. Can you hear me? Josue, where do you live? Where do you live, Josue? I live in San Juan Opico. Okay, listen. What's San Juan Opico like? Oh, uh, it's a very um, uh, tranquilo. Relaxing. Relax. 
relaxing. It, it's very relaxing. Good job. Next question, people, go. Hey, Josue. Uh, Hi. Do you do you have a pet? Yes, I have a a, a dog. Okay. What is Thank the you. what is the name uh, to your dog? It's its name. Its name is. It's Sacha. Sacha. Oh, it's she. It's a she. Huh? she. <laughs> How, how do you spell Sacha? Oh oh. Uh, oh. oh. <laughs> the spell is a a c. Is is it s? Is it s? s c Sacha. C h a. Okay, I kind of understood. I think I think that I got it. Okay, somebody has a different question. Do you have a child? Do you have a child? Yes, I have uh, a one child. Okay, oh, okay. repeat. Yes, I do. Repeat. Yes, yes I, do. I do. I have one child. I have one child. Where do you work, Josue? Where do you work? I work in John Juan El Salvador, Oloquilta. Interesting. Next question. Josue, what do you do? If I take uh, English classes. Mm, okay, you're you a do? student. That's your occupation, I, remember? See. What do you do is your occupation. Okay, so you say, I, I am a student, I am I an am, employee. I am a parent maker. Correct. Remember, what do you do? Todos, guys. Todos. Esa what pregunta, do? what do you do, es confusa. Entonces, what do you do is de su trabajo. Ojo. Solo, what do you do? Que quede cuando, claro y, eso. Y cuando me preguntan, profe, ¿qué, qué, qué está haciendo? O sea, solo por... No, ahí ya sería, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. Ya es con el verbo to be, ya es con el do con ing. Okay. What do you do? Todo es claro como los chatas, ¿sí? What do you do del trabajo? Ahora... Okay. Analicemos esa preguntita porque no quiero que nos confundamos. Si yo les pregunto, what do you do? Ustedes me dicen su ocupación. I am a pattern maker. Yes. I am a teacher. I am a student. I am a manager. I am a hairdresser. I am a mechanic. I am a supervisor. Ocupaciones. Ahora, es diferente que yo les diga, what do you do? On Saturdays. A ver, analicemos. What do you do? What do you on do? Saturdays. Es on Saturdays. Saturday. Ya Saturday. no les estoy preguntando por ocupación. Ese on Saturdays les está preguntando por actividades. ¿Sí? Ah, I go to the gym on Saturdays. I go to the supermarket. Yeah, I go shopping. Entonces, solo, I what do you do? Work. Trabajos, ¿ok? What do you do en cualquier día de la semana? Ya actividades le están preguntando, rutina, ¿ok? ¿Es clear? Teacher, yeah. what are you doing? Repeat, Hugo. <coughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Hmm, you sure? Yes, yes. What are you doing? Eso. What? What, What are, you doing? What are, are you, doing? you doing? Esa pregunta, right? Ah, lo tengo en directo, ¿cierto? Pram, 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 eh. What are you doing? Aquí está, aquí está, aquí está. Ok, esa pregunta, what are you doing? No la hemos visto aún, la veremos más adelante. Ahorita no, no hemos entrado todavía en el tiempo progresivo, pero ahí es que estás haciendo en este momento. Ahí sí cabe decir, I am studying English. Ok, pero no nos metamos en ese tiempo aún, ok. Sigamos con las entrevistas, right? Where do you work? Ya preguntamos eso. Hey, what time do you take breakfast, Josué? I take uh, my breakfast at 7 a.m. A.m. 
A.M. Todos. A.M. A.M. Everybody. A.M. A.M. Repeat. 7 A.M. 7 A.M. 8 A.M. 8 A.M. 9 A.M. 9 A.M. 9 A.M. A.M. Si no digo A.M., ¿cómo puedo decir? A.M. Si me cuesta, ¿qué puedo decir? Puedo decir in the morning. Morning. 7 in the morning. Repeat. 7 in the morning. 7 in the morning. 7 in the morning. Or 7 a.m. 7 a.m. Okay. One more question to Josué. One more question. No more? Excuse me, Josué. Hi. When was your birth? Mm, esa pregunta es en pasado, Ramoncito. ¿Ah? Todavía no hemos llegado ahí que ustedes van corriendo, guys. Okay. ¿Le entendiste esa pregunta, Josué? No, ¿verdad? Porque es, esta es pregunta del pasado, es cuando naciste, right? No voy a ahondar en otros tiempos ahorita, right? What, Pero, what? ajá. No, 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 no. Vamos a ver acá. When do you have meetings, Josué? When do you have meetings? I have meetings uh, every Monday. Excellent job. Applauses for you. Nice job. Very nice job. Very convincing job. Vamos a ver. Let's interview Oscar Flores. What do you think? Oscar is very talkative, so let's take advantage of that. <laughs> Everybody asking questions to him. I have one. I have okay. one. Go ahead. Tell me, Oscar, who are Hugo and Ronnie? Hugo and Ronnie are my classmates. Correct. Let's go, guys. Shoot him questions. Where are you from, Oscar? I am from uh, El Salvador. What time do you take your breakfast? Uh, 7 a.m. 7 a.m.? Yes. Continue. Excuse me, Oscar. Yeah. Where do you work? Uh, I work in Hikilisco City Hall. And what do you do there? I am a... You said a visual something? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I am a lead image in Photoshop. I... Some days I go to take uh, pictures to the mayor and some videos. So you're good at taking pictures, taking good quality pictures? Uh, yeah. Oh, that's cool, that's cool. Next, yeah. next, next. Uh, are you a graphic designer? Are you a graphic designer? Repeat, uh, Susana, are you a graphic designer? Are you graphic designer? Yes, I am. Mm, that's a good job. Do you like it? Yeah, I love it. You love it, huh? <laughs> Okay, next, next, next. How many times? Uh, a ver, two questions at the same two time. questions at the same time. Creo que fue Josué el primero. Vamos, Josué. Where do you live? Where do you live? I, I am live in Hikilisco, Sultan. No, uh, I am. It's not necessary. I live. I live I, uh, is I the live. principal verb. Yeah, Repeat I for live. the class. I, I live. live. I live in Hikilisco. I live, I live in Hikilisco. Oh, okay. So you work at Hikilisco <coughs> City Hall and you also live in the same city. That's yes. good. That's good. All right. And what's Hikilisco City like? It's very, como decir, caliente, caliente, hot. Caliente, hot, pero hot caliente is, así de, de temperatura de, 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 o, temperatura, o de sí, sexy. Temperatura, no, la temperatura. <laughs> <laughs> sí. No, si sí se puede de ambas formas, ¿verdad? Tú puedes decir hot. It's very hot. It's very hot. Yeah. 
sin morbo, ¿verdad? O también puedes decir warm. Warm es como cálido, cálido caliente. Okay. W A R M. Ese es un um, adjetivo igual que hot. Okay. Puedes usar so it's, it's very, very warm. It's very warm. Uh -huh. Y cerras, right? It's very warm. Very warm. Yeah. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Continue, continue, continue. Excuse me, Oscar. How old are you? Oh, uh, I am 33 years old. 33 I have. Years old. No, no, no. I have. Oh, uh, okay. I am. I am. I am. I am. 33, 33 years old. Yes. Nice, nice. Next, next, next. Oh, Oscar. Oscar. What is your cell phone number? Oh, what's your cell oh. phone number, brother? Seven O. The 32. real one. The real one. Yeah, yeah. Seven O. Thirty-two. Uh, Sixteen. Oh, I forget the, the last number. Seven O. Thirty-two. One six. I forget it. Call him. <laughs> call him. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, okay, I got it. Is it a new number it's, or what? It's 7032 1691. 91, all right. Ahorita estamos a llamar, bicho. All right. Hey, congratulations to Oscar. Qué fluida estuvo tu, tu entrevista. Vamos a irnos entonces con Luz Marlene. Ready, Luz Marlene, to practice interviews. Let's go. Practice. Excuse me, Lou. What do you do? Activate your microphone. What do you do? I am business administration. I am a? A business, business administrator. Business. Yes, I am a business, business. administrator. Okay. Repeat. Uh, administrator. administrator. Correct. And where do you work, Luz? Where do you work? Um, um, development. Okay, at the development department. Okay, continue, guys. Yes. Continue. I have a question. Excuse Ronnie. me. What is your Facebook? What is your Facebook? Profile? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a question. <laughs> it's a random question. Um, my Facebook is Marlene Cornejo. Marlene Cornejo. And the picture is? Yes. <laughs> okay, uh, Marlene, I have a question for you. Who is Caleb Nunez? He is my teacher. I'm sorry? He is my teacher. Wonderful. Next question. Let's go. How's it going today, Marlene? <laughs> Repeat, please. How, how going today? Going. Repeat. How is it going today? How is, going how is today? it? How is it going? Today? How is it? How is it today? Or how are you today? Ah, uh, okay. Um. Good. 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 Okay. Ojo ahí, muy buen punto. How is it going? Es como estás. Yes? Probablemente nosotros solo escuchemos how are you. Ok. Pongan en Google, pongan ahí en Google, pongan greetings, most common greetings, los saludos más eh, comunes y ahí les va a dar, right? Porque hay diferentes formas de preguntar, ok? Para que estemos ahí ready. Y, what time do you take breakfast, Marlene? Um, I take my breakfast at um, 7, 7 a.m. Good. 7 a.m. Good job. Yeah. Next question. Next question. Go. 
Do you My have uh, nephews? Do you have nephews? Okay, do you have nephews? Nephews. Sobrinos? Sobrinos. Nephews? Yes. Uh, How many? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Um, I have. I have a two. A two? No, I have two nephews. I have two. I have, I have two. I have two nephews. Good okay. job. Next. Chair. Um, Could you Ronnie spell your last name? Day. Vamos, primero Ronnie, oh. después okay. Reinita. Okay. Es, es necesario siempre decir hey, I am. O sea, con el hecho de decir breakfast no, no, se, no sería necesario. No I, sería I take. suficiente. Como la actividad sería take breakfast. I take. Sería. O sea, como que, como que, o sea, decir 8 a.m. como que ya sería este, agregarle algo de más porque ya breakfast sería desayuno. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Sí, puedes decir solamente at eight. Hey, at eight. Hey, okay. mm -hmm. You can do it. So you have a question, Reinita? Go ahead. Uh, uh, do you spell your last name? Can you, can you repeat? Can you? Can you? Can you, can you spell you. your last name, uh, Luz? Uh-huh, Luz. Can you spell your last name? Mm, okay. Uh, my last name is C O R N E N E. J O J O It's C O R N E J O. Correcto. It's okay. It's C okay. C O R N I J O. Sí, es que ya cuando le toca a uno, mis, se le junta todo, ¿verdad? Mi Estaba Susana. haciendo otra cosa. Mi Susi, disfruta, mi Susi. Estaba haciendo otra cosa. Mis Marlen. Ok, vamos a entrevistar a Reina. Reina es súper activa, así que saquémosle el jugo ahorita, guys. Shoot questions to Reina. Let's go. Reina. Excuse me, Reina. What do you do? What did you do? I do. I am. I. Ah, perdón. I am the actor. Um... Todos me están fallando con esa pregunta. <laughs> Los tengo en la mira. Uh... What did you do? What did you do? Occupation. Uh -huh. I am an architect. <laughs> I am an architect. Good job. Me gusta que la pongan a prueba, guys. Vamos con esas preguntas. Vamos. Reina, I have a question for you. What time do you do you take a lunch? Say, say. Uh, what time you take lunch? What time I, you take lunch? Solo take... clarificando ahí, guys, ah. ya uh, liste su respuesta, Reinita. Solo uh -huh. clarificando, cuando decimos breakfast, a ver, repitiendo los meals todos, breakfast. 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 Lunch. 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 And dinner. Lunch. Dinner. Entonces dinner. decimos, take, take, take or take, have, have, or have. Oh. Eat. Eat. Ahí, como usted Venga, quiera decir, usted dice, take breakfast, oh, have eat. breakfast, I eat. eat breakfast, eat todo breakfast. es lo mismo. Ahora, eat. no me vayan a agregar ningún artículo ni a, ni an, ni de. Antes de breakfast, lunch, or dinner, no se necesita ningún artículo, ¿ok? So, so yes. what time do you take lunch? Sería, ¿verdad, Josh? Can you repeat, Josh? Yes. Yes. What time do you take lunch? I, I eat my lunch at midday. At mid uh, midday. Ah, oh, sería at noon. <laughs> at <laughs> noon. <laughs> at noon. 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 At noon.
Noon. How do you spell noon? M O O M O O N. Yes. N O O N. Noon. At noon. Next question. Go. N O. Are you single or married? Oh. Repeat. Or married. Repeat. Are you single or married? Are you single or married? Are you single or married? married. I am married. Happily oh. married, right, Miss? <laughs> Happily married. <laughs> okay. Next, next, next question. Let's go. What do you do in your work? Okay, what I do you do in your work? I I do everything. You I, do everything. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Multi-uses, please. Um, I draw. <laughs> I um, um, I make reports and I investigation to the um, project. Um, <laughs> Excellent. Um, everything. Everything practically. Okay. And when do you have meetings? Um. When? When do you have meetings? Um. Uh, I meetings. I um, have meetings. I I have meetings. The. Saturday. On, on Saturday. On, on Saturday. On Saturday. Fíjense cómo estas, estas eh, expresiones cortas que estamos diciendo, cómo es importante que vayamos ya educándonos con las preposiciones, ¿verdad? Por eso es que me gusta recalcarles con la hora at, con el día on. Oh. Y así vamos, porque poco a poco vamos a hablar con más orden. On right? Saturday. I on Saturday. On Saturday. Super Saturday. duper. <ríe> all right, all right. Entonces, vámonos aquí al attendance. Ok, attendance, attendance. Let me go with uh, Cynthia Michelle Chávez Vargas. Wow, ya me la van a... Yo creo que es segundo día de ella, ¿verdad? She's it's working, ¿ah? Tercer, tercer, tercer día. Tercer día. Es, ella es tu coworker, ¿verdad, Oscar? No. Yes. It, it, me, dijo, me dijo que tenía problemas con... Con, con el Inter, Inter, ¿verdad? Sí, porque entró y me dijo, si me saca, me dijo, por el internet. De hecho, a mí al principio me sacó, no sé por qué. Pero, en fin. Vamos, entonces, Douglas Humberto Sánchez Díaz. Present. Hugo Ezequiel Deras Mauricio. Present. All right, Iris Yvette Saldaña Leonard Ducey. Iván Armando Méndez Parada. Present. José Heriberto Cruz Amaya. Missing in action, William. Definitely. <laughs> Josué Balmore Cruz Montano. Present teacher. All right, Juan Ramón Navarro Díaz. Kathleen Stephanie Portillo de Lorenzana. Present. Oh, there you are, Kathleen. And then Lucia del Carmen Ayala Mejía. Present. All right, Luz Marlene Cornejo Álvarez. Present. Thank you. Melvin Rafael Díaz Mijango. Noel Ernesto Vega Ortiz. Oscar Armando Flores Rodríguez. I am here. Thank you. Roberto Antonio Ramírez González. Oh, yeah, él se reportó ahora. Este, Ronnie Oswaldo Claros Flamenco. Present. Thank you. Nice Susana show. Carolina Alfaro Gómez. I am here. Víctor Manuel Andrade Galeas. Present. Thank you. Wendy Vanessa Díaz Hernández. Mincin, ok. Jocelyn Lisbeth Ángel Inglés. Present. Thank you, Jocelyn. Carlos Eduardo Gómez Gómez. Present, teacher. Reina Mercedes Altagracia Barrientos. Present, teacher. 
Carla Lisette Valladares Flamenco. Present teacher. All right, Carla Janet Esmeray Guzman Rosa. Present. All right, and Rubén Enrique Present. Reyes Cruz. Ok, guys, necesito retar a los que aún eh, me deben activar su cámara y participación en la clase. Aprovechen este tiempo, guys. Aprovechenlo. Felicitar a los que están así, rock and rolling. Definitivamente están rock and rolling, están brillando muchos de ustedes, están progresando por el hecho que se lo están tomando bien en serio, ¿verdad? Si sacrificamos esta hora, demos lo máximo, all right? To the fullest. All right. All right. And uh, thank you for your participation. Time to go. Only Josué stays. The rest of you, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. The next time. Tomorrow. Bye. 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 Night, everyone. Bye. God bless. You guys. Bye. God bless. Bye. Enjoy the night. It's very freshy. It's very comfy. See you tomorrow. Here is warm. Oh, <laughs> yeah. In Hiclisco, it's warm right now. It's not yeah. raining right now in Hiclisco? No, no, no. no. <laughs> not raining what? there? No, what? No. What? No. No. <sighs> Oh, wow. but everywhere else is raining. Mexicanos is raining. Santa Ana is raining. Everywhere is raining. The word is raining. It's raining hard, huh? It's raining okay. cats and dogs. Está lloviendo bien recio. It's raining cats and dogs. <laughs> See you tomorrow, yeah, right. people. Yeah. You tomorrow. Se queda Josué. Solo Josué se queda. I'm sorry. Okay. See you tomorrow, guys. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Goodbye. Good night. Goodbye. Aha, uh -huh, Mr. Josh. What a pleasure, sir. Welcome to your coaching session. Tell me, how do you feel? Are you motivated with this opportunity? What do you like? What don't you like? Any comment, any suggestion? I like the English class. It's it's very uh, I, I am very motiv motivated. Motivated? Yes. I am very happy that you're learning English. Uh, Jose, I I Thank perceive you. I perceive that you have the talent, you you have the capacity of of you know successful being successful get to the target at the end but you need to continue with this attitude man you're learning a lot you're learning a lot every day every day i see you progress i see your participation that's good man continue participating like that so <clears throat> tell I, me i need, I need uh, more practice like speaking or, or writing or, or listening? Uh, speaking. Speaking uh, practice. Writing, practice, uh, morning in my work. Do you have any friend or, 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 or co-worker to practice English with? Uh, yes. Uh, I have a, a two co-workers in, in the In, the in your company. So you practice with them? In the morning. <laughs> Uh, That's good, good, man. Good morning, partner. Good morning, everybody. Hey, how are you, partners? Hey, what do you do? Hey, yeah. hey, what time do you practice all these questions, man? Practice yeah. all these questions. Así como un questionnaire. Todas estas preguntas, tienes que dominarlas, right? Por ejemplo, esta, estamos cayendo en esta de what do you do. Y sé que sí. es confusa, ¿verdad? Es confusa. Porque estamos en Basic Correct. One. Pero yo por eso se lo repito y se lo repito, guys. Pero eh, solo ahora, en la clase de ahora, sentí como que fueron cuatro o cinco veces que se me fueron ahí. Entonces, poner atención en esos detalles, right Porque sí, una palabra, una expresión, cambia el contexto de la pregunta. Hace la diferencia. All right. El vocabulario, man. El vocabulario es super important. Todas, todas las palabras, Josué. You have to have the purpose of absorbing 
tiendes que ponerte como que la meta de absorber todo el vocabulario posible, right? Y esto incluye palabras tan básicas como adjetivos que estamos viendo o cosas más avanzadas como los idioms. Ahora comenzamos a introducir ya los idioms, ¿verdad? Me llamarían loco por compartirles eso a mis básicos módulo 1, pero... La verdad que no lo estoy porque yo sé que muchos de ustedes tienen demasiada capacidad, ¿verdad? Entonces puedo jugar con, con cositas básicas y cositas ya más avanzadas con ustedes porque yo sé que muchos de ustedes son muy detallistas, ¿verdad? Y van tomando nota. So, a ver, en cuanto a la clase estamos bien. He visto tu participación intachable, la verdad, eh, y al igual que tu asistencia, se, se nota eh, en tu desempeño en, hasta este día, Josué, que tienes tu, tu sueño bien trazado, ¿verdad? Eh, de verdad, tú quieres cumplir esta meta. Sí, a veces es un poco complicado porque como me toca viajar desde Olofilta, eh, bajo por todos los chorros y ese tráfico es horrible. Mira, eso horrible. me llamó la atención, que tú estás en Opico, right? Pero trabajas sí. en Olofilta, es todo un mundo sí. de viaje. Sí, entonces, por ejemplo, ahora, eh, por lo de las lluvias en los chorros, habían como derrumbes. Entonces se puso bastante pesado el tráfico y vine pasado de las 8 acá a mi casa. Eso estaba viendo en el, en el chat de los teachers que una maestra, quiero ver, ella iba de Santa Tecla para Lourdes, ajá, y dice que se quedó estancada en Santa Tecla porque ya no podía ver nada en, lo, en el parabrisas. Ya por la lluvia, sí. Ah, ah, fuerte. Eh, fuerte la lluvia, sí. Bueno, sí, sí. y entonces tú eh, todos los días tienes que viajar. Sí, de lunes a viernes y algunos sábados. ¿Y, eh, y te vas en carro, moto, bus? La empresa provee un, un autobús, y eso es lo que ayuda un poco. Ah, pero okay. De igual manera, si hay tráfico, entonces se me dificulta movilizarme del redondel de acá, del desvío de pico, para acá donde estoy viviendo. Uh -huh. Okay. Bueno, sí que nos cuesta, ¿verdad? Pero me alegro bastante que le estés dando con todo, men, y que estés, eh, bueno, representándote a, a tu empresa y, y también honrando esta, esta oportunidad con Isafor al, al máximo. Así que yo creo que eh, me queda poco decirte tips porque creo que tú estás haciendo un buen trabajo. Eres de los que pues tienen el, el la participación on top, ¿verdad? Eres de los top performers, ¿verdad? De los que mejores desempeños tienen. Entonces, solo pues animarte a que sigas así, eh, compartiendo con tus compañeros. Eh, creo que es ideal la forma en la que estás usando tu inglés. Siempre la cortesía, siempre las palabras mágicas acostumbrémonos a usarlas porque el inglés es, es de modales es elegante entonces desde que tú dices un thank you o desde que alguien te dice thank you y tú respondes you're welcome estás haciendo una conexión fantástica aparte de eso eh, los, las palabras rompehielos como excuse me right cuando vas a hacerle una pregunta a alguien excuse me Carlos I have a question for you o, o excuse me I'm sorry, también. I'm sorry, también. Pardon, pardon me, um, Josué. I have a question for you. Entonces buscamos esos, esas formas para romper el hielo siempre usando la cortesía. Eh, claro, vamos a ver muchas más formas, pero usemos estos poquitos, right? Para que eh, cuando vayamos avanzando, uh, sea un impacto tremendo en tu speaking. Así que continue, man. I'm very happy with you. Recuerda que si tienes alguna pregunta, siempre hay que hacerla. No te quedes con ninguna duda. Eh, y también en el chat. Ahí podemos también Javier, eh, resolverte cualquier pregunta. Ok, Josh. You have any question, any comment? Eh, no. Eh, uh, eh, very good. Very good. Ok. All right, sir. I'm happy you are in the class. I'll see you tomorrow at 8 p.m. Ok. See you tomorrow, teacher. Sweet night, my friend. See you later. Thank you.